All right, what's up, guys? I'm Bryce. I'm Rob. And I'm Zuff. And we are real time today. We got a very special video here for you guys. Part of our 100K celebration, we are rating every movie that we have watched so far. There is quite a bit, I think over 80, close to 100 maybe. So, yeah, we've done a lot of uh, movies since the channel started. We've, I mean, we've done how many movie nights now? 60 in a row. So, like, it's been, a, it's been a lot. So, we got a lot to rate here. We're going to try not to take too long on each one. But as you can see here on the screen, we have six different categories s a b c d f uh -huh. s is going to be a perfect movie a is going to be extremely extremely good b is going to be a good movie c is eh, decent d is just bad and f is absolute trash i don't know how many f's we're going to have we've watched some pretty good movies so far on this channel but yeah uh i think we should clarify first like how we're going to do it so i think we'll each give our own rating and then kind of take the average average it out yeah. based off that if we need to discuss about the movie we can mm -hmm. this video might have some spoilers in it for some of these movies so mm -hmm. if one of these movies is coming up and you don't want to be spoiled skip on that it, just, movie. just skip that i'm fully expecting us to get roasted in the comments for oh, some of dude, these takes yeah. too i'm like i don't know I, we're gonna be honest about yeah, some i'm gonna of these. be brutally honest because i know they definitely liked a lot of the movies that i didn't like so i probably feel like i'll get more roasted but i'm here for it i'm going to say whether i think the movie is bad or good what we're doing but I'm, it's also the i'm not gonna hold back it's also like the first this is the first like tier list video we've ever done i'm really excited because i've watched a bunch of tier list videos they're just like super entertaining um and i i just think it's such a fun and like cool idea that we're gonna go back to every single yeah. movie we've watched and like kind of re reevaluate and give it a give it a ranking i guess i think it's interesting too because like you guys just get to see us watch the movie talk about it right after and then it cuts off you don't really know what we think after sometimes whoever edits the video gets to rewatch mm -hmm. and you maybe get a, get a different perspective yeah, of a different it. appreciation or whatever so i think it'll be cool to yeah to look at all these again we've watched a ton so i think we should just get right into it but if you guys are excited, do enjoy these videos. Make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our links down in the description. But yeah, let's get into rating all these movies. So first up, guys, we got Dune. Dune? Dune. Timmy? With Timmy? Yeah, I'm excited for Dune too. All right. Yeah, I so, liked Dune. We, we, we didn't think it was going to be good. It was long. I remember we were dreading long. watching this one. I'm going to start us off. I'm going to say that Dune was a B. I agree with B. But... I think Dune 2 is going to be better. People, yeah, if, if there was more Zendaya in Dune, yeah. I'm bumping that I up. also think it was a B. I think we all went into it thinking Low it was going to be like a D. Yeah. Probably helped it out a yeah. bit. Yeah. It was a lot. I, I, I enjoyed it way more than I thought it was going to. I think it's a solid B. Yeah. I'm, I think the, I'm excited for the sequel. I think it's going to be better. Also going to need to um maybe you guys get reminded on yes. some things. Like, yeah, like this like, next one. Yeah, the, <laughs> so we got John, John Tucker Tuc must so die. John Tucker must die. That was the one where Penn Badgley played John Tucker's like younger brother. He was had it, long he was hair. The, was he the mascot? I think he might have. No. no, 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 no. That, that was, was Easy A. That yeah, was Easy A. Penn Badge, he's like the younger brother. I think I know. John Tucker's dating all these different girls. Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. I know, he's I like know. a basketball star. I would give that a, like just your average C, I think so. I was going to give it a D, to be honest. I, I don't like, I didn't like this movie. It's I, so forgettable to me. Like, I didn't case even remember point. it. Honestly, but, I would give it a D just, just okay. because it is so forgettable. Like, yeah. I don't know. Com compared to like a lot of these other movies yeah. on this list it's definitely very low we watch a lot of movies same time period similar con like similar kind of concept yeah. and this one just didn't shine in my opinion yeah there's other movies the same exact style of this that i just prefer yeah sure yeah. all right we moved pitch perfect one up um i don't know if we're doing this based off like if it's like the quality of the movie how much fun we had watching it but i really liked pitch perfect one to be honest mm -hmm. i i'd give it an, an a i think i think i'd give it an a I don't know. I was going to say S, honestly, just because I liked it so much. Oh, I agree with A. I, don't, I think S is a bit too much. Yeah. I think I, yeah, I'm comfortable with A. I'm I think you, with we a. have to overall fill it out. Like how much if we enjoyed it a lot, I still think it can go higher because we enjoyed it and it we didn't like the. Yeah. Like, I think you have to just all pers perspectives come in. Yeah. Like some of these might. I mean, it's definitely gonna, we're definitely going to have movies higher that are just by the book, not as good. That's some movies below it, but it's yeah. just like our, it's our opinion, right? Like, yeah. I don't know. But see with this next Pitch Perfect yeah. 2, I think this one goes the whole way down to D because 
I didn't know any songs in it, really. I just didn't enjoy it as much. The story was much worse. We didn't get any of the... Um, Troublemakers. Yeah, I just thought it was... It was. I think I'm giving that one a D. I would give it a C. I would give it a C. Because I just I just love the cast, and it was still funny. It was a, still, still a funny yeah, movie. Yeah, it was just still really funny. The plot wasn't my, like my favorite. It, it, it's definitely much weaker than the first yeah. one, though, for sure. I think, it, yeah, it, it's probably a low C. I like how it's looking so far, huh? Uh, you got one for each. Next, Invisible Man. We got the Invisible Man. Do you remember it, Invisible Man's off? I do. I was an interesting one. one. I'm cool with, I was going to say B as well. Wow. Wow, this is not fun because we're all agreeing so far. I mean, okay. we have B. the same taste of it's, uh, it's gonna a lot of things. It's going to switch up soon. It, I think it's different, too, because we watch them all together, so we have similar experiences. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Proposal is up next. I would also... Mm, that's maybe I gotta think to see. about this one. That's with Ryan Gosling, right? Reynolds, Ryan Reynolds, Ryan Reynolds. And, and Sandra Bullock. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, I like the proposal. I would say B. I, I think B as well. I give it as B. <laughs> Devil wears Prada. C. I think that's a C. I was gonna say C or D. Not one of my favorites. I'm gonna give that one a D. Fun fact: first, first movie Zuff ever edited. Uh -huh. So I give it a D. I'm honestly right on the border here, but. Just out of respect, we'll give it a C. Black Swan, this is going to be differing opinions here because I don't I think mean, we this, all feel I mean, this. everybody, I feel like a lot of people like this movie, but I'm I didn't really C. understand it. I didn't get it. I didn't like it. I like Natalie Portman. Yeah, I, I like. I would give it a D. I liked parts of it a lot, but I also disliked a lot of it as well. See, I would I give it a C. I didn't really enjoy it at all. What are you saying, Zuff? I gave it a D. I, I say B. So I think C it is right in the middle. Yeah. But this is one of those cases too where I edited this movie, so I got to rewatch it again. So I think I, like you said, you didn't understand it. I got mm -hmm. to watch more, probably got mm -hmm. a better understanding. And I have a crush on Natalie Portman. Next one is The Craft. This is going straight D or F for me. I I'm think absolute trash. I think this was think absolute this, this trash. This is a very not great movie. I didn't opinion. enjoy it. I, yeah. There's some movies you sit down and you just don't enjoy. <laughs> But we I, seem like we enjoy everything. I but feel this like one is, well, we, we, can, we have fun with movies. I feel like, yeah. like if we were a teenage girl in the 90s, we would have loved this Which movie. Which we aren't. Exactly. <laughs> like, like we're just not the demographic for this. Um, but also with that argument, we, we like a lot of movies that, that that's we're true. not the demographic. That is true. Some movies just aren't good. I don't I know. Guess I guess. I can appreciate the craft for what it is, but I will not be upset if you put it as F. I would probably say D. But I'm kind I'm of impressed with we that. haven't cracked S yet. So that's pretty cool. But next, I, week, I think I already know who, what my S tiers are for. I know for a couple list. for sure. Yeah. But we got Rush Hour next. Very very funny movie. B. I'm cool with B on this. I would give it a B. Very funny. Uh, Chris Tucker, one of my favorite. Yeah. Sometimes when there's just not too much to the story. It just can I don't I feel like it I can't break the eight there like there has to be a certain criteria like this yeah. was just it was a B because it was funny it was a comedy that was what it was made to like everybody says that Rush Hour 2 is like the one though like it, it's apparently better than the first one so maybe that would be an A um, next we're up with Mean Girls, one I of think, our most viewed videos, I actually. I think that's an easy C. Yeah, I would say C. Oh, wow. Okay. It's just like John Tucker. I was going to say B, but... I think that's an easy C. Okay. I don't know. It is good. I'm going to... But... I feel like that was like a, like a, just a better John Tucker movie. It's the same style. Yeah. Like teenage I'm, high school rom-com I'm going to... Uh, it, it, it's iconic, though. I don't know. I'm I gonna, would I would be okay with B, but I would say C. I'm going to refer to all the John Tucker like movies as the jo a John Tucker movie from now on. Okay. Just, but here we got oh, the okay. Bridgerton movie. Just kidding, guys. It's not the Bridgerton movie. We got Pride and Prejudice. I mean, I like the craft more than Pride and Prejudice, so I would say, like, it has. Now this is where the comments are going to get us. Okay. <laughs> If you guys didn't see our reaction we to this, we just didn't like it. We did we didn't not like it. Like it. it was... I I respect people that like this movie. They have a different taste than we do. Um, yeah. It's just yeah, I didn't enjoy watching this movie a like, whole lot. We all can agree that we liked the craft more, right? Oh, 100 percent. And then th that means it has yeah. to be down there. Yeah. yeah. 100 I just feel the like craft was better. A lot of people in the comments were like, "If you read the like, if I have to read the book for a movie yeah. to appreciate it, I'm just basing this off the movie. Not for me. It's just not for me." 
Um, that, that, that's what I mean. Like, I, uh, I'm sure that the story of Pride and Prejudice yeah. is a fantastic <laughs> story. That could be so pissed But, like, I, I just, that, that adaptation wasn't it. I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really sorry. But next up, She's the Man. That was one that Zuff was not here for. See, yeah. I'm going to go with D. That's an easy D. <laughs> um, that's an easy D. Yeah, it's in, well, dude. Dude, Amanda Bynes' accent in this movie was just, it crushed me. I don't know. It was fun. There, there was definitely some funny moments that that's the only reason it's hanging on to D for me. I don't know. Yeah. Um, it was a funny concept, and just Channing Tatum, Channing Tatum and Amanda Bynes playing a boy was pretty funny, but yeah, um, that's a D. Corpse Bride. Corpse Bride. I'm going to give that one an A. Yeah, I think that actually I was belongs gonna, up there. I was going to say S, to be honest. I just love this movie. I love how it the looks. The aesthetic is insane. I love uh, it. See, uh, the um, same um, aesthetic. I see. Mean, Coraline is the same aesthetic. We're going to get to that. Yeah. We'll get to that. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk we'll, about we'll that. Get, uh, that's exactly my reason for giving it an A, too. Yeah. But pri uh, Princess Diaries is up next. Um, um, boom. I give it an F, but I think these guys give it a D. I mean, I didn't. I just did not like this movie. I didn't. I feel really like a like lot of the either. movies that we didn't like are coming quick. So I th yeah, true. I think if I'm, we gave the craft an F, I think it deserves a D. I don't think it's absolute trash. I think honest. I like the craft more than the I rest. don't know. I'm gonna give it a D too. I, I think, think D is give fair. It a D. Hairspray. I'm I'm giving this an A. I really enjoyed this. I think this A video. is really good. I think I would give this one a C to be honest. Now this is the tricky part. Where yeah. would we put it then? That would be probably a B. This is another one where Rob saw it a million times, already loves it. I got to watch it and edit it, so I got to watch it again. Honestly, through like the second watch editing it, I was like, the songs have been, were stuck in my head for Without days. Without love, like I liked it a lot, but I'm I compared most of the things to the Pitch Perfect one, and I still think that's my my peak. And I just did not like like I like when I know the songs when I'm watching a musical I figured that out after watching Pitch Perfect too. And but it was, I think that's the thing is most musicals do have original songs. Yeah, so. I, I, like I said, there was a, original songs in in Kanto, and I thought I liked seeing those more than the Hairspray ones. Okay, um, I guess Papa B. If yeah, I'd, C, put, I'd we, put it uh, yeah above everything else. Yeah. Be. Okay. And this isn't going to be exactly the right order, too. Just like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, Make me feel better. Easy A. Easy A. Oh, man. I, I remember I remember, I remember liking it a lot more I like than we it. watched it again. I would probably say low C. I think C I think it's well. lower than Mean Girls. I was going to say 100%. D. I was going to say D, but C is fine. Bring low it on. C. Bring it on. I think that's a B tier movie. Yeah. I, I I liked Bring It On. I think I, don't know. I, I think, don't think so. I think it's either. Is that the I would, one? I would yeah. say probably. I think a C. I think like in front of The Devil's Brad. I was gonna say that as well. Probably top of C, but not better than Pitch Perfect too. I just remember we were cracking up at it. It was pretty funny up at the uh, the brother that she was like dating or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Dude. laughing real hard at that. He was funny. Um, How to Train Your Dragon. dragon. I think that's like a. I would. I'd give that a B C. I, I think B is where I'm sitting. I, I would. Like I would say C. I, I think B was. It was all right. One. Yeah, it wasn't by far not the best animated movie we've watched. Um, now this is like honestly one of the ones I was thinking. This is Inception. This is like yeah. a me and stuff. I, I mean, I've, I've also you, seen you've the movie. It yeah, too. I've seen the movie multiple um, times. This is one of the ones where I feel like. I don't know, because this one performed very badly on the channel. It didn't do well, and Rob wasn't in it. But over, I, I think this, I think this is a fantastic movie. I think it's such a good movie. I would give this. I'd give it a high A. I would give it a B. I just think if we're talking like movie, like this is like yeah, an but like I didn't, movie. I didn't really enjoy watching it. I didn't understand much. Yeah. I mean, I got, I got the hang of it. I thought it was confusing a little bit. It, it was, was a very confusing, was confusing movie. Confusing. And like, I, I would give it a B. And then me and Rob said A, so we'll throw it up here. Um, Coraline. I, I still, I I think it's an A, but it's I, at the top. I, I think S. I think I it's an S tier I'm movie. putting it in an S, honestly. I want to put I just it think at the overall. very top. I think this is the A++. I just don't think it cracks the S tier. Well, that is your opinion, but majority roles in this one. First S tiers, Coraline. Coraline. Shout out Coraline. That movie's goaded, bro. Shout out. On the wall here, Talk Coraline. Talking about my friend Coraline. <laughs> Edward Scissorhands. C. C. I would borderline D. 
I was not a big fan. Uh, I would say D. I think it's a decent movie uh, though. Like I honestly feel like decent is like the best way to D. describe it. It's not a bad movie. I oh yeah, I actually I, I would honestly say B or C, but I'm cool with C. I'm cool with throwing it in C. I I I just I don't know. I, I like Megan. It. Megan B. I liked Megan. I think Megan was fun. Yeah. I like, think I would give it a C still though. I don't think it was B. I don't think it was mm. I think it was It was decent. better than Pitch Perfect 2. I think it would be at the top of C. I don't think it was good. I think it was decent. Is it better than How to Train Your Dragon? Yeah. Uh, in my opinion. I, I liked How to Train the Dragon more. I think BC area. I would give it a B. Is good. Personally. I think it was a good movie. Um. Yeah, I just, I think, uh, yeah, I think B's fine. Tangled. That's an A tier movie. Yeah, I think that's A. Tangled, yeah. I, I mean, I just, I, I, feel like it's, I feel like it's going to be hard to crack and ask for me. Yeah. I can get down well, with that. Well, I think we got yeah, potentially think, one coming here. Goodwill Hunting. I think this was an Goodwill A. Goodwill Hunting I, is I was a very good another movie. one, but I think this one is high A. I think you can yeah. put this at the top of A. I agree, actually. Okay. Goodwill Hunting is very, very good. It's a very, very good oh, movie. Oh, it was awesome. I think you put it over on the left. I think the best, yeah. Oh, you don't think it's better than you think it's better than Pitch Perfect? Yeah. yeah I'm just kidding. I know it is. Uh, Lovely Bones. <laughs> That's what I, I that was gonna be my first ass. I really thought that was. It is a. It's a very good. My movie. mic was off this yeah. whole movie. I thought it was an ass, and just because I really like Stanley Tucci. Yeah. And I, I mean Mark Wahlberg. I would give this one another high. A, personally, yeah, it puts me in a weird spot. Personally, I'm cool with either. Um, I think this one gets the ass. I did. This is one of the first movies I cried to, though. So, uh, it's very good. It's very, very good. Sir Ronan crushed it. Um, Stanley Tucci. Get it scary. up there. We'll throw it up. I'm, 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 I'm cool it, with you it. can I'm look cool at this that. movie and say cool it was a that. perfect movie. It was really good. Um, Enchanted. Enchanted. It was a fun movie. I C. think. I think B or I C think is D, fair. D C in that area. D. You think I'm not a, a big D? fan of that one. You put it on the same level as John Tucker and Princess Diaries? I would say probably no. at the bottom of C. I think C's fair then. I think it was a fun movie. I, th I think Love Actually is a... Uh... I would give it a B. Okay, I'm fine with that. Yeah, B I is would, okay. I would give Love Actually yeah, a B. Yeah, dude, if, if they cut out a few of the, the storylines in that one, it would have been a lot I better. I think you can move that um, in front of the proposal. Well, okay. Like I said at the beginning, yeah. it's not yeah, it in order. Matter. Bridesmaids. If there's one that's like definitely like okay that's B but it's mm -hmm. high B then we'll we, throw it up there. We watched Bridesmaids on the channel. Oh yeah, yeah we did. I would say that's a B movie. I liked mm, it a lot. I'd say C. Wasn't my favorite. Uh, I like Bridesmaids. I don't know. It's a funny movie. I'd it was say funny. B. B tier movie then. Okay, so there's a little mess up here. We have two of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. So, but we don't have the Sorcerer's Stone. We forgot to put it on. So this one, this first one here, it's just gonna be in order. So this first one is going to be Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. The one without the Harry Potter text mm -hmm. is going to be the first Sorcerer's one. Sorcerer's Stone. Yeah. I'm giving this A, C. I, I was going to say C. I would say B. Especially comparatively to like, it just what I've seen. So. It just doesn't hit the same as the other ones, personally. Yeah. I would I give know. this the next one a C. This one is the Sorcerer's Stone is definitely better. I think. I think that's a. I still would. Give I'd it give a it a B. This I'd give it a B. I would this give one? it a C. Yeah, Sorcerer's Stone. I'd give a B. This isn't the Sorcerer's. Oh, Stone. oh, oh! Sorry, Chamber of Secrets. I would give a B. I think C for that one. I mean, yeah. I think it's. it's I think it's, it's better definitely than better than, than the first one. It's better than this one. Um. I'm gonna throw it right in front of this one if it, if it's my call. Um, I don't think it's a B tier movie. I think this next one is a high B. I think Pris it's a B tier movie. Um, high B for Prisoner of Azkaban. I would have given Prisoner of Azkaban an A. Okay, but I'm cool with B, I guess. Okay. I think uh, Goblet of Fire is gonna be an A. I think it's the best one. It's we've the watched. best of the four so far up to this point. It's all I've watched, so I think it's an A. Only have that to base off of. Um, I personally would rank it the same as Prisoner of Azkaban. I, I think really I'm the same rewatching them now, but uh, I think I'm, Goblet's an A. I'm all right with I whatever. Think I'm with stuff here on the A. My favorite so far. That's the Harry. This is Jennifer's body. It is. <laughs> Ooh. I think that's a D. I think, I think D. I think D is a very safe place mm -hmm. to put it. Very good for that. The Notebook. 
I would give this probably an A. I think it's an A tier movie. Yeah. I'm I'm happy you guys think that. Yeah. Glass Onion? Uh I B would C? say I think this B. is a C. I think B. I think both of them are very good. I enjoyed watching both of them. Like they were good You're watching. saying B? I think B. Yeah. I'm saying C. Okay. Um what am I saying? Um it was fun. Let me just look at these. I mean, I think B if we're going to I don't think it goes in the same category as Pitch Perfect 2. I guess. I think it was a fun movie. Um and the twist was really good. Parasite, I think we're going to have differing opinions on here cuz I really really love this movie. I mean, it's I got to rewatch this movie again, so like I think it's a borderline ass maybe I, A. I'm I, so surprised you said that. I think it was a top like a high A. I mean, we got a lot of. I mean, I think this was placed super bad on like the movies. We, it was like the f one of the first movies we watched. First ten for sure. I think it's we. I think we watched this before we watched a single K drama too. So like, I think if we watched it now, we would really appreciate it a lot more. But I think it caught us off guard there a little bit. I know people, we got some comments on that one. But just as a movie, I think it was. I think it was an S tier movie. Honestly, I think I would give it extremely good. I wouldn't say it was a perfect movie. I think it was insanely good. I give it S. S is good. I need to rewatch this movie again too. It was so good. Um, okay. Little Women. Little Women. Oh man, I, I liked would say C for Little Women. I liked the other version so much more. I was a little disappointed with this one. Just like, it's just like out of order somewhat. Like they, it jumps around so much. I don't know. I'm cool with C. I think top of C. Like it's better than Pitch Perfect too. Yeah. It definitely has a really good mo it's still a good adaptation. It's just I like I compare it to the one with Reno Winona Ryder and Christian Christian Bale. Spirited away. I'd give this one an A. Yeah. I think, I think A. I think I don't know why I was expecting this like to have a I don't know, a, like a, diff a, a an ending that hit harder. I don't know why. I just like was a little disappointed with the ending of this movie. Mm. Um, it was a good movie though. I think I had high expectations for what was his name? No face. Yeah. Going into it and he's not that huge of a character, no. yeah. So I think A is cool with that one. Mulan. Mulan, yeah. Uh Mulan I was would, a really good movie. I'm I'm cool with top of B low of I'm, bottom. I a. would give it an A personally. I would say B. Okay. Um it's either gonna be here or here. I just love the songs I don't, in that movie. I don't think Mulan goes below Spirited I think just Away, of how old it was. I'm giving like it was an older movie. Yeah, but I don't know. I feel like I would give it a B. We'll drop it in the A. 13 going on 30. I'm giving this one a C. I, I like dude. There, I think Mark Ruffalo was good in this movie. I love Mark Ruffalo. I love Jennifer I give, Garner. I give it a C. I give, I give it's this an alright movie. I give this a D. An alright movie. Crack in second line to C there. Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. I think that one's a D for me. That's me, crazy. Me and Zuff didn't like this movie. I, I would say it's a C. I just did not give it a like B. It. So I mean, I I I'd, I would actually give it an A, but I mean, you can say A. Yeah. What are you giving it? I mean, personally, I think it's an A. I like. I love this movie. It's so good. So how's that work? If I say C, Zuff says D, you say A. You probably like top put of it C. Top of C. Ellen Payne's Rob. The Strangers. So that's blasphemy, honestly. I think I would give The Strangers a C. I think it was not a great movie. It was decent. Yeah. I don't. I'd put him at the, the bottom, bottom of C. C. Yeah. It, it wasn't was. It, that it, good. I was like. It was so hyped up. Yeah. It was so hyped up. It was so hyped up, and I don't know. Um. Okay. Twilight. First one is, I think, maybe a. I was thinking A as well. Extremely good. Yeah. I mean, it was. Do you think it was better than The Invisible Man? Uh, Harry Potter yeah. three. Nah. Twilight. Actually, I think it was better than The Invisible Man. I you think, think it was better would, than yeah, Harry Potter pop, three? I would pop it right in the middle, right after. You thought it was better than Glass Onion? I think Onion. it's right after the proposal. You Rush have hour. to put it high in the. I don't think. Twilight is like. Yeah, it's not on it's, the same I level think it's as Corpse Brand. I anything. would give it a B. Yeah. I'm, a I'm low cool B. Oh, it's I like think good, a low B. It's I like good. it more than Rush Hour and The Proposal. And The Prisoner of Azkaban? No, I, I don't know why The Prisoner of Azkaban so I think that I think the Harrys are different because it's like we're com kind of comparing them to each other. I don't know. Do Dude, you know what I mean? I, feel I like think it's... that's crazy that you would put Twilight over 
the third Harry Potter movie. No, I think the third Harry Potter movie is I don't better. know. Like I said, I don't Twilight's know. Twilight's good because it's just absolutely silly and you make fun of it. Like, it's just ridiculous. I feel like that's the same with Pitch Perfect, too. It's like not... But it's self-aware. Pitch Perfect is like, that's what it's supposed to be doing. I don't know. Twilight's like a... It's like a... It's like a good bad movie. It's not actually a good movie to me personally. Okay, uh, New Moon though. That one is a that's a D bad movie. Yeah, that's a bad movie. That's a bad movie. I mean, I could put say maybe. Uh, no, I would not rather watch the witchcraft no. movie. We like just watched Twilight Eclipse, so it's not on here. I think that's like a. I would say C. C. I think top of C, honestly. Yeah. I like that one. Similar to the first one, if I'm being honest here. Mm -hmm. um, Silver Linings Playbook. I think that's an A. I think also A. I really, it's a really, really, really good movie. That okay. was one of my favorites we watched. I was going to say a C tier movie. Oh, that's crazy, bro. I didn't think it was that That's good. crazy. I mean, really, like, I loved, like, the end when they were dancing and stuff, too. Bro, so... the acting in that movie was just fucking insane. Yeah. Jennifer Lawrence won. Bradley, a... Bradley Cooper and Jennifer Lawrence killed that movie. She won an award for that movie. I was very disappointed with the Chris Tucker cameo there. I thought he was a character. No. He was just so underused. I don't know. I think top of B though, if right if I said C and you guys said A. Yeah. Makes sense. Uh Scream One. C. B. I would say C. C. Okay. Top of er, around here. I'd watch it again. Um not Everything me, Everywhere All at once. once. This is one of those ones, bro. I feel like uh, <laughs> I think it's an A tier movie. I feel like I didn't appreciate it as much as i should have when we watched everybody's it. gonna hate my but answer for this one I, I did watch it again and i i enjoyed it so much more the second time around when i didn't have to like react to it and i could just like watch yeah. and See, take everything in i would give this oh man i honestly i think it's better than parasite personally i think it's a or s i think it's i a or was s. gonna give it a d that's see, see, see like, that's just crazy. a thing like that i feel like it's just that's, invalid because that's crazy. i just didn't i didn't like it i thought it was a bad movie i didn't understand anything so i, I think i did not like all the other dimensions i just it was not my like when they were in the i just really did not like that movie i wouldn't watch that movie again I think that was a. I didn't even think it was decent. Like I did not have a good time watching that, and it was really long. I I can't put this anywhere lower than like an A. I nah, can't. I'm I'm I did not like. It. I'm giving it but a B. I, I'm, I I know the reason is because you didn't understand it. So I feel like that has to be taken into account. Yeah, but I didn't like really what was going on too. Like all the other dimensions or, and the I didn't like like. I just thought the when acting they were in that the story one, was so good. When they were in the one, I think it was towards the end when everyone was like getting sucked in that portal. I was just like, this is like just so goofy. Like, this is so weird. I just didn't enjoy it a lot because I didn't understand it, but I didn't like really anything about it. Length, too long. Didn't like the story. I just feel like you don't know the story though. So you can't say you don't like something that you don't know. Right. I mean that was I've we've I've rated other things like this too because I didn't understand it that much. I think this one's different though. This one is like we all watch I mean, this. Someone, at, someone, at first. no one, none of us watches the first, and we're like, yeah, we we know like all of our opinions at, the, at first were probably I think like that. Some people really like this movie, and I can see some people being in my category and not liking it at all. Which I think, I think you are on the minority of that one, but I'm sure there are people that don't like it with every movie, but. I just like I don't know um probably if it was I would it would probably be at the top of B I just can't with my oh. heart put this behind pitch perfect that's, that's I don't know uh, I guess if that's how we're doing it oh it's a it's a nail it's a hard one to bite <laughs> I don't think that's the saying I don't think <laughs> so, <laughs> Inting with that pick, I he's don't like, throwing with people. That. Are gonna, you get they, uh, you guys aren't gonna get torched for well, this. Well, the thing one is, people that. are gonna skip to the end and just see what we rated everything. So like, they're not gonna be like, oh, Zuff gave, yeah, <laughs> everything everywhere all at once. Well, some be. people are gonna know. Well, they're, they're, the comments will uh, get like catch it. All right, uh, Friday, B or C? I would say C. Yeah, it C. was funny. Um, I think bottom of C. I mean, 
I don't, I don't know. It's in C somewhere. Truman Show, that's an S-tier movie yep. to me. That was very S-tier. I would give it an A. That was an S. S-tier movie. Midsommar. I, weirdly enough, think this could be an S-tier movie. Um, I think, it's a B. I, I was going to say A. I think because how this, like, it was one of the movies that actually like, disturbed us. I feel like we've watched a lot of scary movies that didn't really do anything. And I feel like this one had us feeling shook after. And I think it did its job. Also, and I, I'd give it an A just because Florence Pugh. I really liked the, the and uh, what's his name was in it? Will Poulter. Yeah, I th the acting was good. I loved the plot. And I think it was yeah. very disturbing. I think I would give this one an S. And I said A, Rob said B, so I think. I'd give it an A just because Florence Pugh. I think oh, you okay. could put this high A, probably high after a. Goodwill. Yeah. Or, yeah, before I'm cool with that. That was also like. The I feel third. like you didn't like it that much whenever we watched it. Really, I th I thought I really enjoyed it. Mm. Um, Wendell and Wild, like a uh, C -tier I would give movie. that maybe low B, high C. I thought it was a really good movie. I thought it was cool to, to say that uh, to say that Wendell and Wild it was, was better than everything everywhere all at once is just. <laughs> I mean, I just I don't you know. You guys man. liked it. I didn't. I just didn't like it. It wasn't my cup of tea. It's not that big of a deal. Alright, um, what are we putting this though? I said C. We can say I would, C. I would say D, honestly. Okay. But we'll put it around here. I mean, I would much rather watch Friday than Wonder yeah, the Wild, but by a considerable amount. Uh how to lose a guy in ten days. I would say nope. C. Let me get a recap. Matthew McConaughey and Kate Hudson. They have to like annoy each other. Yeah, She's writing yeah. an article I like about that him. Movie. I think that's a B. I would give it a C. That's I also I think it's a B tier movie. I thought it was really good. I just everything Zuff says now I have to compare <laughs> you, to him I, it giving was one movie that I didn't like. Everything else has been the same taste. You have to you can't you gotta hit the brakes a little bit. Uh Crazy, Crazy Stupid, Stupid Love. Love. A. I, I wouldn't be I wouldn't hate giving that an S to be what honest. What was that one about? That one was the one Steve with Steve Carell, Carell and Ryan Gosling, Ryan Gosling. Emma Stone. I think, a, I think that's an A. I give it an A. Okay, we'll do A. I love that I movie think so another much. movie kind of like this one, I'm going to give an S. X? Is I think it, X was a really good horror movie. I think, I, would B, give uh, a, I think B or C is fair. I, think I would B, give it a C. I think I'd give that one a B. Okay. Um, I think B is fair. Uh, What's the other one? Uh, Pearl. Pearl, yeah. I think Pearl is better. Okay, we'll put it there. Gone Girl. I think Gone Girl is a, a high B. I think there's it's a, a lot B of people movie. I've seen who rate this movie and like high on the Yeah, some list. of their favorites. It's a lot of people's favorite thriller ever. I think it's a high B. I think it's B as well. I just, I didn't really like the ending, to be fair. It's, it's a, crazy. It is a good movie. <laughs> Train of Busan, our, our first, first movie. I'd give it a high B. I would give dude, it. Train of Busan was a good movie. I'd give it a B. Yeah, that's what B is. It's a good movie. Oh no, I'm just saying, like, I give it a for B. For our first movie, it's like, damn. I'm just randomly placing these, by the way, guys. Crazy it's Rich Asians. I'd uh, give that a B as well. I would say C. Um, Those are my favorite. I'm cool with B. I remember liking it when we watched it. I just don't remember it a whole lot right now. This movie made me cry. Uh, I think this is a good movie. The Impossible. This I'm gonna give it this. We just watched this. <sighs> I'm gonna give it an S. I'm okay with that, just because it made me cry like fucking six times, yeah, dude. Yeah, I loved it. It was our first it, and only disaster. It pulled so much it was, emotion out. It was really good. I, I think I'm S. cool with us. I'd probably say A, but I'm I'm not gonna hate on an S. I'm cool with us. Uh, Black Phone. Very high A, I think. I think Black Phone's a B. It was maybe. extremely good. Wait, I, that what, was another scary. It what, was just. What were you saying? What'd you say it was? A high A. I oh, give okay. it a C. Okay, I think B. It is. I wasn't though. thrilled with it. It was all right. It, a lot it was all right. I think it was cool with like the, it was the a kids decent movie. and stuff and them helping them out. I thought that was pretty cool. It was a decent movie to me. Um, me and Rob here, the menu. The menu, I would give a B. I was going to say A. So I, what are we doing in this scenario? Do you just want to RPS? We could just talk about it. Okay. Um, um, or first off, just, what if I just throw a random no, one? No, no, no. Fuck no. First off, I, I have a huge Anya Taylor Joy bias here. I, I love her so much. Yeah. Um, I loved all the other actors in it too. There was just so many different people. I thought Ralph Phineas was amazing as the chef. Um, the ending was awesome too. I like how they were all just like shitty people that he invited there. Um, I forget the, her, her date's name, but it was like Nicholas Holt. Is that yeah, Nicholas Holt. I thought he was pretty funny. Um, I just loved how 
like her background coming into it how she had no clue about it and how she was the one that outsmarted everyone i just i think it's an a-tier movie i don't really have an argument i just didn't like it as much okay <laughs> uh it would have been an a i just don't even uh think when i see that everywhere everywhere all at once at uh top of b uh a walk to remember i think s I think that was a very. I give it an A. I, I think it's it, an A tier movie. I'd give that an S. So we gotta put it high A. I'd say it's better than Midsommar. Your name could be an S. Your name is a good movie. Um, it's not an S though. I think Probably I an a. preferred a silent voice to this. We'll move this here too, just so we can do them back to back. Which one was the silent voice? How the she, she he's a speak. bully. The girl's deaf. Uh, I think I liked your name more. I think I would give it. I think. Realistically, they're both probably A's. I'm cool with giving your name an A. I would give your name high B. We'll put it in A then. Um, I think I think a silent voice is an A. I think it's an A as well. I think it's better than your okay. name. I wouldn't hate. I wouldn't hate an S, but I think this movie was really good. We'll put it. It was very good above your name though. Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. A. I love this movie. I think that was an A. A or S is cool with me. Uh, this video is blocked on our channel now, so mm. you guys can't watch our reaction to it, but I think the animation... I, yeah, I think the animation can give it an A. It's it's very impressive. Oh, yeah. The story was good, too. Yeah. It was cool. Uh, Silence of the Lambs, I think... A. I mean, this was an old movie. I think it held up. I think it's an A-tier movie. I think I'm comfortable opinion. with that. I'm I think, um, what's his name? Anthony Hopkins absolutely crushed his crushed role. Crushed it. Mm. Love Simon. Love Simon. I, I could be give, another A tier. I, would, I think it was like a C. I would give Love Simon an A. I think around a C for me. Love Simon surprised me. Yeah, I liked it a lot. It was a decent movie for me. Another crier here. How should we do it? I mean, maybe we're doing this wrong. Do you think if two of us have an A and one have a C, it should be a B or an A because two of us say it's an A? You know what I mean? I'd probably put it high B. I think if two of us have the same one, it should like maybe be that one. Do you guys disagree or what? I think everyone's opinion should have a. No, I know, but we're saying them. I'm just saying, like, rating them, like, how this, like. Yeah, maybe. But I'm, I think everyone's opinion should weigh where it goes. Not like an outnumbered thing. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Um, Okay, I, so this is B tier then? Yeah, you can put it high B. Okay. Um, what Which is one this? is that? Okay, yeah, so I, I just put one Fear Street, but I, I figured we could just rate the whole series uh, see, together. See, that, I don't, because I feel like I have very different opinions on all of them. <laughs> the last one. The first, right. the first one. Yeah, but it, it's at, it's one story, though, so we could just second rate it. Second one first, first one, shit. I would give that probably DF. Which one was the first one? W the one. With the kids? Yeah. yeah I think when they were... It's the one the crash that, that takes place in present day and it was just normal. Just the 1994 or whatever. With it was just the screen in the mall. Guy. In the mall, like, the two people died. Yeah, or did they die in the second. They died in the second one. The first one sucks. The second one, good. It's all right. It's pretty good. I, I would watch that one again when like it's the flashback with the camp. Yeah, that one's all right. Third one, I think is still better than the first one still not very good i thought the third one was awesome i would yeah. give the uh the second one a c i would give the other two d borderline f's i honestly really enjoyed all of them i ah, the vibes and i'm everything, not surprised i he's gonna give this score high he's gonna give the fear streets a higher score than everything everywhere all once, I think, guys. I just think, just take that into account okay? i think i would give these as a whole probably a low A, a high B. I think I really enjoyed the vibes. I love Halloween. I love like the retro, the old, like I love the American Horror Story, the one that was very similar to Fear Street. I just love this kind of vibe. So that's why I'm rating it higher. Everyone has their own cup of tea. Yeah, I'm giving this one a D. If you're giving it an A, I'm giving it an F. Yeah, uh, I'm giving it a D. Uh, I, I thought this. So it'd probably be like a C. No. It's either low C or in D. D. Put it in D. Put that thing in D. Yeah, I don't think it deserves anywhere above that. You would rather I'm, watch John Tucker Must Die? They're in the same category. I know, but you would these rather watch Wendell and Wild than that? Yes. Really? Yeah, yeah 100%. Actually, yeah. 
That's I a Henry Selleck like movie. That. I liked the second one, kind of. I could enjoy movies when I'm watching them, but like... It's... I just... Oh, man. It did, I don't know. The, those... those... Those first and third ones, that was some shit. They I don't were, know. I just, I just like, those, like, the, I like Halloween more than you guys, though, for sure. I didn't really like the acting in that movie either, which is a whole different thing. But Inside Out, mm. I, that's an A tier movie. To I think me. A, yeah. I cried a lot. Yeah, A. I'm cool with A. Um, I don't think it's on the same level as an upcoming one, but uh, I don't know. I mean, if you look at these, we're a sucker for animation, like animated movies. Like, there's just a ton of mm -hmm. <laughs> up here. Uh, Promising Young Woman. Um, I would give it a V. I, I think B. B I think well. B's. I think fair. B's good. Throw it in there somewhere. Uh, Last night in Soho. Uh, I'd say C. probably high C. I was gonna say B. I think it's a C. I was kind of disappointed with it. I had somewhat high expectations, which I think didn't help, but it was definitely still a decent movie. I think that's perfect. I think it got a lot of unnecessary shit on yeah. social media, to be honest. True. But whatever. Uh, nope. Nope. I would give. I think a C. I think C. Maybe I would B. give it a B. I think B. Too. I liked Nope I a lot. Okay. Good. I think it was okay. I, I wouldn't rewatch that movie though, to be honest. Unless someone wanted to. I would. Not Encanto. I, I, that movie, yeah. Yeah. I think I liked it more when I edited it, but. I think Encanto is an A. I think it's an A tier movie as well. Yeah, Encanto is A. I also think that Pearl is an A. I would give Pearl. I thought it, I I love Pearl. I liked it a lot more than X. I'm the opposite. I think I liked X more than Pearl. I would give. Pearl and A. I like Pearl more. I'd give Pearl a C. I think an A for me. I think sitting in B above X is a... We'll put it just right there. I think that's fair. That's good. I think Pearl is the better movie, though. I don't know. All I right. just liked the... Uh, is this the safest S yet, or what? I wouldn't say the safest. I mean, it is an S. It's an S. Yeah. It's an S. I think the Truman Show S. is... I think the Truman Show should be moved over to the very left. Uh, the Princess and the Frog. This was a very good movie as well. I would say I B. Would, I'd say A. I'd give that one a B. I, I would give it a B as well. Okay. Put it in B. I think it's a good movie. Ten Things I Hate About You. I, I would give it an A. I'd give this an A as well. I'd give it a B. B high. High B. Throw that sucker in A. Um, we're the Millers. Very recent one here. I don't even know if it's going to be out on YouTube by the time I you guys think that was, this. we love, I think that's an A movie. I, I think it's an A movie as well. I'm comfortable with A. I think that was a gas. Very good movie. One of the hardest we've probably laughed at a movie before, so. Uh, to all the boys I've loved before. C. I think C is good. I don't think it was complete I, shit. I, I wasn't remember. total shit. Uh, um, Noah Centineo. Noah Centineo. The girl. They, like, they, they have a fake relationship. I think I would give this one a D or a C. I think C is fair. I think it was cool. Um, Ready or Not. I, I like I Ready think, or Not. Give it a B. I think B is I like, fair. It's a good I movie. Think it'll be, yeah. I think it's a good, good movie. It's a good one. Um, the Robert Batman. Pattinson's Batman. I would give that a C. I would also give it a, I would C. Give it a C. I didn't like this movie. It, uh, it was underwhelming. I saw it in the fuck. movie theater and I was like, whoa, that was fucking sick. And then I watched it like three more times and every single time I watched it, I just like it less and less. I don't know. I'm I'm excited to see where it goes, but it was a, it was a C. Zombieland. 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 I would give. I give a it an a. high B. I think it's an A. It's a very good. I liked it. A it's lot. a good movie. I thought it was better than Train to Busan. I think it deserves. Very better. different. I think it deserves to be above Train to Busan. That's my opinion. Um, I also think it's a B tier movie. I don't think it's an A tier movie. I personally think Train to Busan was better. Yeah, I do too, for sure. But uh, well, you can it, put it. we're only comparing yeah, it because exactly. they both yeah. have zombies. In They're really honestly see. very different movies. But uh, um, Clueless? Clueless, I would give a B. 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 I like Clueless. Okay, okay, B. See, I'm just not the biggest fan of the John Wicks. Well, let's do the John Wick 1 first. So John Wick 1, I would give a B. I honestly think all the John Wicks are just a steady decent for me. Honestly, I don't think anyone... I mean, we is. haven't watched three or four so, yet. So, well, I would give I John Wick 1 a B. I think that was a good movie. I, think, I liked watching that I one. think both of them were decent. I think John Wick 1's an A, in my opinion, but... Uh, you throw it I a B, think then. for action movie, it's, it's... It really is... I liked John, John Wick 1. That's uh, a good movie. John Wick 2, I think... I think a C. I think a C is fair. I just yeah. don't think it'd feel right putting this in D. It's no, like yeah. John Wick? I don't know. It's C. Top Gun! B. A or B? I'm cool with B. I think I like B is B. fair. I think, I think the sequel is going to be a lot better. Yeah. yeah. I we also need to think watch this that. next one is a B. Turning Red. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm cool with Turning Red and B. It wasn't my favorite. Uh-uh. Uh 
animated movie that I didn't we really like it. You cool with that, Rob? Mm -hmm. I actually think it might have been decent. Um, Barbarian? I would also throw that in B. I think that was like an A for me. I think it's a C. I didn't I really I like this movie. really liked it. That one scared the fuck out of me. I just think uh, I give it was a cool a. concept. I just like how it was like a hidden movie within a movie. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I like the switch up. I loved I th I think when Justin Long came on. Yeah. He was like the real barbarian. Like it was just, it was cool. I, I give it a B. I it was give good. It an a. Okay. I think B's fair. Um, this one is Anastasia. C. I think this is like D. I didn't like I think watching C's it. I think fair. Um, I think it was fine. I mean, this one is the one that had bar talk, right? Yeah. Bar talk. Uh, I did not I like just, this movie. Yeah, I don't know. This one was cool, but we've watched a lot of like, uh, we've watched like a lot of princess movies and this it's one just isn't near. one on the top. Um, and it obviously is older, but C's fair. White Chicks is an A. White Chicks. I don't know if it's an A. I'd say B. it's a B tier movie. Yeah, probably B actually. Get a B. But we Get loved a B. it. Um, we're real zoomed out now, guys. We're, we're too many movies, but this is Cruel Intentions. I would give this a D. I, I would didn't say like C. this movie. I would say C because I like Buffy, the Vampire Slayer. I'm giving it a D. I think D is is a, a good spot for it to be. Um, Perks. Perks of being a wallflower. That's an A for me. I think it's an A. I think A is, is good as well. Knives Out. I give that an A. Um, I give it the out same as, as Glass Onion. I give it an A. I think it's better I than Glass it's, Onion for sure. Personally, I think it's a lot better. Um, this is Legally Blonde. Probably Legally Blonde's a good C. movie. I would say a C. I think. I think, I'm cool with like middle of B ish. Like I think honestly, C. I would give it a B. B? Okay, we'll throw it around here somewhere. Kung Fu Panda to me was an A. I think Kung Fu Panda's an A tier movie yeah, too. I think I'm, it was I really, really good. It's good. Which also, guys, is our last movie. So let's, oh, wow. let's see what we got here. This is the... the Do we want to like maybe like look through them a little rearrange. bit? Rearrange. And rearrange? Yeah, so we think... Let's in start with the S's. Every, we, let's just start with the yeah. S's. I think Truman is my favorite. I think Coco is actually... The my, best movie we watch on the channel, you think? It might be. I think the Truman Show is my favorite. I actually don't see any flaws in Coco. What, what's your guys' top of S and bottom of S? My top of S, I would say, is Coco. My bottom of S is The Impossible. Uh, okay, that's that is it's mine too. It's my it's top mine too. of S is Truman, and my bottom is Parasite. Okay, so I would go Coco, Truman Show, Coraline. probably I Lovely think... Bones before Coraline. I like that. I love that a lot. Okay. Think Personally, I would put Parasite over Coraline. I would too. But so we probably should. Yeah. <laughs> the two yeah. of us want to. I agree. I would also put Parasite over Lovely Bones if I'm being honest. I would put Parasite second. I'm. That's that's where I'm putting it. Second. Uh, I would put Parasite over Lovely Bones. Okay. But that we'll, I, we'll I'm comfortable with that. With that. But, yeah. I don't, but I don't think we should go through every tier and do that. To be honest, uh -uh. maybe pick the the best from each one and move it to the yeah. front. Yeah. Or top three or something. We can do the top three. Yeah. Um, um, just off rip, I like Goodwill Hunting sitting up there. Um, I like Goodwill, Goodwill there. I think I like a walk. Man, there's just so many good I don't movies know. in here. We're the Millers, too. Corpse Bride is really good. Pitch Perfect. Dude, I don't, I don't know. I, I think, think it should be Goodwill Hunting, The Notebook. Mm. And... What's in boots? I see. I don't I know. See, really I think, really like to walk. I maybe Prisoner of Azkaban. See, I think if we do this, it's gonna add an extra thirty minutes to this video. So, I think what we can all agree, Goodwill Hunting is the best movie in this yeah, one. I think so. Can we pick one that's the at the bottom? The worst. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, um I would say. Ten things I hate about you. No. No. I would probably say. Or the Inception. No. I I think I would say... I would honestly say The Goblet of Fire. I think I would say Your Name. Honestly, that's mine. Your Name. Maybe Mulan. Let's just move all of our least favorites to the back then, huh? Yeah. Alright, so those... 
All right, what's okay? Well, the best movie is already there. What's our least favorite movie in this? Um, I think uh, the red turning red. I, it was a good. I thought it was a pretty good movie. I, think, I would say um, I think turning red. Maybe princess. Frog. I'd say like Legally Blonde, Bridesmaids, or uh, oh, I'd put Bridesmaids back there. I think. Yeah, I guess Bridesmaids. Yeah, I'm comfortable with Bridesmaids. Uh, best movie in this tier. What would it be? Um, I mean, realistically, probably a Harry Potter. I think Harry Potter. But if... <laughs> I, think the I, would say, one was the I would say Scott Pilgrim is the best movie. Really? In this in this tier, yeah. We'll give it to you. All right, you can take that one. I think 13 going at 30 was the worst. Um, in this whole thing? Yeah. In C, I did not like that movie. I would say, oh, no, I would no, no. say, or the one with. I would say, Wendell and Wilde is at the bottom for me. I'd honestly, the one with the heart, the heart. Uh, yeah. To, uh, to all the boys. Not yeah, that horrible. one was ass. Um, I don't know what I would put. Honestly, there's a lot of movies in here that I just don't love. But at the same time, like I look at like it, it does look weird having. Harry Potter's and then to all the boys I love before in the same tier because I don't look at them the same at all. Uh, I think they're much better. Yeah, but how did they get in the C tier? The Harry Potter's. I think because we didn't we only put one in A tier. I think at least they're. I'm pretty all sure of we, the Harry Potter movies are good. Yeah, there's not a decent Harry Potter movie. I think the first. The one, thing, I gave the first one a C. The thing is, we're not like it's not. We're comparing the other. I think Harry me and Bryce both gave the first one a C. I think we're just. Comparing how much we enjoyed the movie, like not look. You're comparing. the one that gave Chamber of Secrets a C, I think. Yeah, um, I, I guess we really just comparing Harry Potter to Harry Potter. Yeah, that's probably more so what it is, because The Devil Wears Prada is not a good movie. <laughs> that's why it's decent. Um, B is good movies. All right, cool. bad. What's the best? Well, who cares? Yeah, it's just. Let's, We'll leave Pride back here, though, huh? We'll leave that one over <laughs> I there. I think Wendell and Wilde is easily the worst movie in C. Just... John Tucker Must Die might be the worst. No, no Jennifer's Body. No, Princess Diaries. Yeah, Princess Diaries. Princess I Diaries. think Princess Diaries is an F tier movie. Princess Diaries is at the bottom of D for me. I'd rather watch John Tucker Must Die again. And Jennifer's Body. I would rather watch all of all three I of think, the Pierce I think my bottom one is... Pr Actually, my bottom three are probably Princess Diaries, New Moon, and the Fear Street trilogy are the bottom for me. Of D? Yeah. I think I like Fear Street the most in that. I mean, they're all not that good. <laughs> they're in the bad section. Yeah. I like. I gave Fear Street an A, though. I think <laughs> I would put that at the top of I bad. would genuinely put Jennifer's Body at the top of D. No way. I think it's a funny-ass movie. I think Fear Street. No, I'd put uh, I'd put Twilight. Hundred percent. No, dude. Hundred percent over all these movies. Hundred percent. I don't. You guys I disagree. Really just like Fear Street that much. It just. I don't know. When you're putting them, I would have given the second one a solid C, but if we're giving the trilogy as a whole, eh. all right, guys. This is our list, though. This is the final list. Um, if obviously, if you watched this video, like. If we each were to make our own list, it would not be reflective of this. This is a collective opinions here. So let us know if you want us to make our own list. Uh, maybe, yeah. Maybe. Probably not, but <laughs> well, I mean, you guys know what we think of each movie already. So yeah. you guys, you guys heard what we each individually think. So. I think I would have some S tier movies more. Yeah, I think I'd have everywhere, everywhere, all, everything, everywhere all at once. Yeah, probably. Probably S. Yes, you guys really like that one? Loved it's, it. It's incredible. So bad. I, and the acting was one of the best out of any movie we've watched. But Borderline half uh, movie for uh, me. Actually, <laughs> the most awarded movie of all time, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I'm sure you guys already are, but let us know down below what you think of our list, what you disagree with. Mm -hmm. we can't wait to read these comments. Um, They're going to be cool. If you guys want, we can also link this, uh, all the movies we've watched. If you guys want to rate yours, you can like send it to us. Send it to us like on Twitter, Instagram, anything. It doesn't matter, but let us know. We can link you guys this. But this was really fun. We're also going to be doing one for TV shows that we've watched. So I think it's cool. We I, we have almost like 100 movies now. So it was cool getting to look through all these. Might do this again. 
long down the line once we get like a lot more movies under mm -hmm. our belt probably wouldn't want to revisit all these ones again so maybe this on but it's always fun doing different videos like this and getting to like it's probably cool like getting to hear like our genuine opinions on stuff too because mm -hmm. we watch a lot of bad movies that we can have fun with mm -hmm. so like the videos end up being good and you might not realize that we, we didn't, didn't really like we it didn't that much the movie but if we're just looking straight at the movie like some of these we do get to watch like you guys can see most of these are good and above movies like you guys recommend yeah. all these so like they're most of them are already liked by tons so i definitely watched more enjoyed more movies on this channel than uh disliked by far so but yeah let us know what you guys thought about this type of video if you want us to make more like this in the future just not reaction type videos we'd definitely be down to mm -hmm. but yeah that's pretty much it guys stay tuned for our tv show ratings coming soon the tier list and yeah we'll catch you guys next time in our next video peace out